You may have seen or heard of a pretty cool feature on the PlayStation 5 where you can essentially link it to your TV so that if you turn your TV off, it'll put the PlayStation 5 into rest mode or if you turn the PlayStation 5 on, it will automatically turn your TV on. So this is a cool feature called HDMI Device Link. Um, in order to use it, you are going to need to have a TV that has the HDMI port that's compatible with HDMI Device Link or an AVR which also supports the same protocol. Um, if you do have this enabled and you want to use it, it's pretty easy to turn on and it's a pretty handy feature to have, especially when you want to get stuck into your gaming and you can't figure out where you left the TV remote that's probably down the back of the sofa. So from the main menu on the PlayStation 5, you need to go up and over to the settings menu. From here, you need to go down to system and from within system down to HDMI. Now you can see at the very top already, we have enabled HDMI device link. So toggling this will turn the feature on and you will see that there are two sub features underneath it. So one touch play, if you turn, the P turn on the PS5, the connected device will also turn on. So essentially, if you press the PlayStation button on your controller, it will also turn on the TV that the device is connected to. Pretty handy feature. And the second one here is the power off link. So if you turn off your TV by pressing the power button, it will also turn off your PS5. Now, there's one thing to keep in mind here. Many modern TVs have uh, energy saving settings. If they turn, if that is triggered and it turns off, off the TV, it will also turn off the PlayStation. We have rest mode these days, so it's not a big deal. But you know, if you're a trophy hunter or you're doing something that requires you to stay connected and rubber band the technique or something, just keep that in mind when you use this feature. Um, there are also some issues if you are using another console. Um, I found this to be particularly an issue when I'm using the Xbox One or Xbox Series X. Um, because both of these support HDMI device link, they can get some wires crossed when both are trying to take control of the TV. So when you turn on the TV, well, which does it turn on? If you turn on the Xbox and your source was previously PlayStation, again, it can get quite messy. So I would recommend you only use one HDMI device link when you are setting this up, whichever system you play the most, or just don't turn either of them on. But if you, if you can get away with using both, why not? But if you do use both and you find you're having issues, well, that's the issue that you're having. Both are trying to fight for their ownership of the TV and only one can have it. But that's all you need to know about the HDMI device link on the PlayStation 5. Hopefully this helped you out.